Sau hồi cờ mãn cuộc, cặp đôi tiền đạo cánh là bị chạm. After the final whistle, pair of wingers, 16-year-old Lamine Yamal and 21-year-old Nico Williams, were still on the field playing rock, paper, scissors to see who would get to drink water first. Yamal then asked for the bottle that Williams was drinking from but was pushed away. After receiving the bottle, the young Barcelona star sprayed water at his teammate and stood there playfully. But what Yamal and Nico do on the pitch is a different story. Croatia still played defensively like they did when they beat them 2-0 in the last round of the group stage and even took the lead against Luis Fuente's side. However, it was the speed and fluidity of Yamal and Nico created a series of chances for Spain. Nico Williams became the first player in European Championship history to have an assist and 100% passing accuracy in a match he started. While Yamal missed many chances, he still made his mark with an assist for Fabian Ruiz to make it 2-1. The two youngsters were awarded the highest ratings by statisticians for their dribbling and chance creation. 60 years ago, the Spanish national team witnessed a special moment when two wingers, Amancio and Carlos La Petra, helped the team win the 1964 European Championship. At Euro 2024, Spanish football is once again witnessing the return of a pair of wingers with two new generation talents, Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams. The effective collaboration in matches between Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams is not only because they are good teammates, but also because they have a close friendship off the pitch despite being four years apart in age and playing for different clubs. Nico Williams shared with Marco, Lamine and I are actually very similar. We love watching videos of great players, and we are both street footballers. That's why we understand each other so well. At the age of 16, Lamine Yamal became the youngest player ever to play in the history of the European Championship. With an assist for Danny Olmo's goal against Croatia, Lamine Yamal also became the youngest assist provider at the Euros. Meanwhile, Nico Williams, who shown in the role of winger, was voted man of the match after Spain's 1-0 win over Italy. He delivered an impressive performance with his speed, technique, and remarkable finishing ability. In addition to his talent, Nico Williams' life story is equally touching. Williams' parents had to cross the Sahara Desert in poverty to reach Spain. However, it was this challenging journey that became the motivation for Nico Williams to give his all for the national team. It's hard to compare one to the other. People only know that the impressive combination of Lamina Yamal and Nico Williams is something that promises to help Spanish football shine in the future. The team's coaching staff also have high expectations for these young talents. Lamina Yamal will turn 17 one day before the Euro 2024 final. In March, the Spanish national team's plan will be to bring him to the Euro finals and even put him in the starting lineup. There is a significant age gap between Lamin and his teammates, some of whom he even has to call uncle. Zed Sudnavat, player right behind Lamin, is 22 years older than him. When Zed won the World Cup, Lamin Jamal was only two years old. That was also the golden age of La Roja, when Spain dominated the world with three consecutive major championships. The foundation from La Masia is extremely strong, and Lamin Jamal is the most prominent face from this academy. Because he is still so young, Lamin Jamal is still juggling school, football, and Euro 2004, while also preparing for his high school graduation exam. In recent weeks, Jamal's dedication to studying during tournaments has attracted public attention and become a hot topic of discussion on social media. In an interview with El Padillazo de Copa, Jamal shared that the most difficult subjects for him were math and history because they require more revision time. In addition, Jamal added that whenever he is not training or has free time, he takes out his iPad to do his homework. When Nico Williams or Farron Jukla knock on his door to call him out to play football, he will go. And finally, Lamin Jamal passed his high school graduation exam right before Spain faced Georgia in the round of 16 of Euro 2004. Upon receiving the results, Jamal called his mother to share the joy, and the 16-year-old talent can fully focus on football and prepare for the match against Georgia. And when he was 100% focused on football, 
Jamal once again showed his best quality. Rare is how La Roja coach Luis de la Fuente described the performance. However, he also reminded everyone to restrain from excessive praise, because this is still a rough diamond. La Roja will ruin the boy if they expect him to shoulder the burden of the team right now, and always talk about how good he is. We know he's special. But be careful, because he's young. He is intelligent, and knows how to control the situation. But then he will have bad times, and if we are not careful, he will be criticized badly. The coach shared that the Barcelona and Spain player continued to play well and contributed an assist for Fabian Ruiz. He worked extremely hard against Roja and created some very notable chances. However, he has yet to get his first win at the Euro, setting a record with a new six-year-old player. But with what he has shown since the beginning of the tournament, he deserves at least one goal. Nico Williams played on the opposite wing, was also one of the biggest inspirations for Spain's comeback. Nico contributed an assist for Rodri in his team's first goal, helping to restore the score balance. In the second half, player scored to make it 3-1. It was also his first goal for La Roja in a major tournament. In addition to scoring and assisting, Nico also proved himself to be a perfect passer. He successfully completed 46 out of 46 passes. The player also had four key passes and won four tackles. He also received the highest who scored rating for the match. With his efficient, youthful, fast, and technical playing style, Nico Williams, who was already highly sought after, will now attract even more attention in the transfer market. His release fee is only 43 million pounds, a bargain for any big club that gets him. The Spanish international success is partly due to coach Ernesto Valverde, the former Barcelona coach who brought calmness to Athletic Bilbao, a controlled playing style that prioritizes careful passing throughout the match. However, when they started to attack, the Basque team was direct, flexible, and fast. Athletic Bilbao often tries to stretch the opponent's defense wide to create more space for the attackers inside the penalty area. With this approach, Nico William becomes a highly effective player thanks to his extremely impressive passing ability. As a two-footed player, what the talented youngster born in 2002 will do next becomes extremely unpredictable for defenders. Faced with the choices of crossing or continuing to use his technique to dribble past opponents, he knows what to do, come up with the most feasible option at that moment. In matches where Athletic Bilbao is forced to play deep, the younger William brother can use his speed to exploit the space behind the opponent's defenders, carry out counter-attacks. With his relatively impressive individual technique, he will create chances for his teammates. His versatility in playing on both flanks is the reason why Nico William has become a highly sought-after name in the world of football. Spanish international, with his dribbling ability and creative playing style, will surely be a great asset and attack any club that has him. At only 21 years old, Nico Williams still has many aspects that need improvement, but his potential is undeniable. With his composure on the ball and excellent technique, German has become one of the team's most important attacking players. His ability to read the game and launch attacks makes him a constant threat to opponents, and his accurate assists contributed greatly to the team's success. Nico William, with his lightning speed and accurate finishing, has established himself as one of the top wingers in the league. His mazy dribbling skills and ability to create chances from difficult situations captivated fans. Both players have not only brought pride to the national team, but have also proven that they deserve to be among the brightest stars of European football. Euro 2024 has witnessed the growth and brilliance of Lamine Yamal and Nico William. The two young talents promise to bring more surprises in the Spanish national team's journey at Euro 2024 and beyond. See you in the next video.